Hi, hi, Ellie Walsh here, Mindset Marketing Coach. And today we're going to talk about marketing. How to create a free capture page, lead page, using your autoresponder. Capture page, squeeze page, lead page. Those are all the words that are used for it. And all it is, is a page that somebody puts their email address in and it goes into your autoresponder. So you should already have an autoresponder so that you can organize those emails and send out emails to everybody. And if you don't, stick around because at the end I'm going to show you how you can get a free 30-day trial on an autoresponder. So let me go in and show you right here where, we, where we're at. Well, this is my list, but I saved the URL. Let me copy that and paste it in here. Here's one of Now, that's a nice looking page, a capture page, lead page. I created that all utilizing my autoresponder get response in a few minutes. But I'm going to show you one I think you're going to really like. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Have you heard people say, you can make money with the video in it on autoplay? Now, you know what? You can buy programs um, that do lead pages for you, fancy. Some of them are expensive, $40, $60 a month or several hundred dollars at one shot. Uh, you could also do plugins if you have a domain, and you might not even have a domain right now. So, this is fantastic, and you can do this with most autoresponders, at least the bigger ones, the good ones. So, this is not so difficult to do. I'm going to show you how to do it. So, here, here I am. This is where you create a web form, right? Come up there and you click Create Web Form, and they have designs, and actually, you could probably use one of their designs and add to it. So if you threw something, I haven't done it, but and these are smaller. And if you notice, mine, the one I made was about 468. So you just grab it. Put my glasses on, I can see what we're doing. And you can go over here, it's about 450, 460. And you probably could add a video in here also. Okay, but I'm not gonna use, so usually I, what I did, so I went into plain, I applied it, and then I added how I wanted colors. And I'll show you over here. This is the one that you saw a few minutes ago without the video. And as a matter of fact, we could get a little fancy. I think I did on the other one. So in the header here, see we can make the, the top edges rounded. On the bottom, you don't do the bottom because that would be the bottom of the header. See, that's the spaces you get there. And so you leave those alone. Go over to the body. You could do the edges. Just This just a, a good appearance to that. I already did it on the submit button. I'll show you over here. Submit button. Here's where you position the submit button. Here's where you get the gradient when you pick a color. You change the gradient up here, and I, I put the edges in them, so we could leave them square, or we could round them. So there's a lot you can do, but how do you get that video in there? That's the good one. And I'm going to throw the video right in here. So you're going to go to Add Text. Well, before we even do that, let's go get the video. I think I have it up here. Here's the video that I have on the other one. You go to your video. Have you heard people say? You go to share. And you go to embed. And you grab this code. So now I have the code. I'm going to come back over here. And when I click add text, I'm going to go to HTML. This pops up, and we're going to put that code in. Now, if you want it to autoplay, this is the code here. So before frame border, 
and right at that closing quotation, come right in here and add plus auto, you have to spell it right, autoplay equals one. And that will make it, and make sure the closing quotation is there. That's all you have to do. Now I've heard some people say you can center it. You can try throwing the center in here, but I haven't seen it work. We'll try it. Center, this is HTML for center. And then you have to have a closing tag on it, center. So you see center is in between these brackets, less than, greater than, and the closing one has a, a forward slash. And you s tell it update. Now it's going to stop playing. So I turned off my speaker. Because it's playing over here and it's playing here. It's not where we want it, but tell it apply. It's going to play again. And let's move it. There, see, so when the cursor turns, let's put it up here. Now I know it looks, it doesn't want to stay. Sometimes it gets a little wonky. Just stay right there. It won't stay for me. So it looks big and it looks a little wonky. And it won't be, you'll see. We're going to tell it next step. Now, if you can do a default thank you page. These are decisions you make, or a custom thank you page. How are you going to, to do that? Stay on the current page. How are you going to do that? Go to next step. And here's how you turn it into your own private landing page. Get response will host my web form. So now, I'm going to copy that to the clipboard, and we're going to go up and put it in, and let's see how it comes out. That's an ugly URL, but, oh, look at that, and center worked. <laughs> so, it wasn't working for me before, so you could use the, set, the center. There it is. That's how you put a video in. I mean, how cool is that? Now, you don't, you don't really want to be putting that link all over on Facebook or what have you. It's just crazy looking link. So you have two options. Go to Bitly and make a Bitly link, shorten the link, or get a domain. You can get a domain from GoDaddy. There's some codes out there now that you can get a domain for... A, you know, just a couple of dollars, sometimes like three dollars, uh, ninety nine cents, one ninety nine. They have coupon codes all over the, and then you can forward, so you can have that domain forward into into this landing page or a subdomain. You want to know what that is? Another video, and I promise I'll do it this week. I wanted to show you one other thing. In in get response. And that is they have this feature called landing page. Now, if you notice, mine's locked because it's another like $15 a month to add this on. So it uh, looks to me like, you know, you can have more bells and whistles to create a landing page. Here's the cool part about it. You also can get a free 30-day trial for that. So I'm going to go, I'm going to set that thing up. And so I'll do another video. I'll do a video on that. We'll see. We'll see the difference. They say we're at $15. It's another $15 a month. Right now, if you're thinking, I have to pay for the auto responder. I don't want to add $15 to my bill. Here's landing pages. We've got them for you right there. Make a video or not. You don't need a video. But I mean, how cool is that? You can change colors. You can see. It's not that difficult. Uh, get response has some good information on how to customize and all, but really it's just sitting in there and playing around with it. And the video, you go back and um, look, watch this again and just copy how to do the video. Okay, that is the marketing tip for today. 
I promise another video coming up about how to get a domain to forward to this. Have a great evening. I'll see you soon. Come talk to me over at my Facebook page. I'll have a link below here on how to get, get response for 30 days, a free trial. They don't even ask for your credit card. You really, really, if you don't have an autoresponder, you need one. So if you don't have one or you're looking to change, like I said, I actually am coming over from AWeber. I'm preferring GetResponse. I decided to try them out and I like them. So you got 30 days to try it out and create landing pages and see how that works for you. I'll leave the link below. Have a great evening. I promise another video on how to get your domain over there and, and the other feature landing pages coming up. Have a great evening. Talk to you soon. Come talk to me at the Facebook page.